The Jingler is an early season dry fly um, and it's tied to two ways. Um, first way is obviously with a, an, old in, uh, an olive body, uh, which would represent the large dark olives that come off early season. Or you can tie it with a grey kind of hair's ear dubbed body, which would obviously represent the March browns that come off. Both of which are quite a big fly um, when they actually, like I say, when the hatch ha happens. So we'll be tying this today in a size 12, but you can also tie it in a size 14. But 12s and 14s are the, the usual size that you'd go for. Um, as I say, I'm tying mine today as a large dark olive. So I've got some Unithread 8 in light olive um, and I'll be using like I say an olive double body but if you're going to change the, the flow up you can move that around so let's start so we're going to begin by catching the thread in just a few millimeters behind the eye and we're going to take touching turns rearward so we just get just before the bend of the hook now that thread there, your tag piece, you can trim away if you want. I'm not going to, and I'll show you why in a moment. So for our tail, we've got some Cop de Leon. Um, and I've selected about six fibres there. So we're going to offer that up to roughly the length of the hook. And we'll look to catch that in. Now, if you haven't got Cop de Leon, um, you can always use a badger hackle um, it gives you a, a similar bar in so once we're happy with our length of the tail we can take a, a thread wrap rearward just to help splay the fibers and then we can take our turns back up we can come in and trim away those and fibres that we don't need and take our thread back down to the the tail okay, and like I say I am going to tie mine as a large dark olive so I'll be using a, some olive dubbing here um, but like I say if you want to represent a March brown then you'd use a, a hair's ear blend now we're not going to use a lot of dubbing here um, it's just to help create that kind of buggy footprint on the water surface really um, obviously we want to create some kind of a, a tapering um, but it's not too not too big so happy with there and we, we stop our body about two thirds of the way up now because I have used a dubbed body obviously I'd like to use a rib so that's where the the flying the, the flying the tine thread um, tag comes into it so we can wrap that through a couple of turns just secure that and then we can come and get rid of that it just makes that body a little bit more secure okay so we're now at the point where take some of the longer fibres at the top out where we're ready to tie in our first hackle okay so we've got a red game hack a red game cock hackle so we'll strip some of the fibres down towards the end, some of the the fluff to create our tining point. Trim that down. And when we tie this in, we need to remember that the dull side of the, the feather faces ourself and the shiny side faces the the hook. Okay, so just a few wraps just to make sure that's nice and secure. If you can come in and trim by the waist. So with the jingler, bigger is best. Okay, so what you've learned previously in relation to hackle sizes and hook sizes kind of goes out the window here. So nice big hackles, bigger the better. So like I say, we want to aim for about four to five turns and each time you turn just sweep some of those fibres back. Okay, so we go one more. And we'll leave it there. So we'll catch that in. A couple of turns to catch it in. One in front. 
and we can trim away now make sure that your tine thread is out of the way the last thing you want to do is snip your tine thread so we'll just neaten that up a little bit suit some of those fibers back um just to make it a little bit easier when it comes to tining our second hackle second hackle is a partridge so i've just again removed some of the fluff um and if you use your hackle pliers you can hold it at the front and sweep back okay and that will give you your tining point we need to make sure that we tie this in concave okay so we don't want to be tying it in this way around we need to be tying it in concave um, and when we come to tie this feather in you'll see why it just makes it that little bit easier so take a bit of threading just to make it a bit more manageable and we'll catch that in stroke some of those fibers back and remove some of those tag pistons there trying not to obviously lose some of the fibers on the cock hackle so with this we're going to look to add a full turn so stroke your fibers back and let me say a, a nice full turn and again we can come over and secure that in place once we're happy with it we can remove our hackle pliers and again just sweep everything back just to help create a neater head on the fly which we've got there now so we could look to finish that off if you want you can obviously varnish the thread at this point or you can varnish it later the choice is yours we go for a five whip finish so three four and five remove our tying thread and finally remove our waste on the partridge so that's the jingler finished now all that's left is to actually stroke these fibers forward try not to pull the tail too much um and just obviously create that kind of messy head that's associated with the jingler um and there you go that's it ready to fish so like i say this is tied in a size 12 um to obviously represent the large dark olive you can tie it obviously to represent the march brown give it a go see how you get on nice early season dry fly pattern it's definitely stood the test of time hope you enjoyed that one see you soon <laughs>